All right, so for this question, we're told that we have a triangle resting on a square, and the side of one, a side of the square is five centimeters, and uh, the total area of the compound shape is thirty-five centimeters squared. That when you combine the area of the triangle and the area of the square, we get thirty-five. Now let's find out the area of the square. That's quite simple. It's given as the, the length of the edge squared, basically. So it's five. Where s is this s that I draw, I write here is the the symbol for the length of one side, okay? So we're gonna the length of one side is five, and we squared, we're gonna get twenty-five centimeters squared. So that's the area of the the square. Now what is the area of the triangle? Well, if the com the combined area is thirty-five, when we subtract the twenty-five, we're gonna get what? Ten. Sorry that this thing is not writing as good as I needed to. All right, so the area of the triangle must be 10. So when you add 10 centimeters squared plus 25 centimeters squared, you get 35 centimeters squared. So what is the height? Remember the area of a triangle is what? Half times the base times height. Now, if the, this is a square, this is a square. That means this length here must also be what? Five centimeters, right? That length must also be um, five centimeters. Because the area of a squ the square, all the sides are equal. So that means the, the base of the triangle is 5. So we notice half times the base, in this case 5, times the height. That's how we find of the area of a triangle. Half times base times height. But we know the base is 5 already. So it's half of the base times height. And when we work this out, we'll get the area, which is 10 centimeters squared. But what, the, what is the height itself, though? All right, half of what give us 10? Half times what give us 10? Half of 20 is equal to 10. All right, so that tells us that's five times a number. Five times what number give us 20? Must be five times four. So the height must be four. Okay, so h is equal to four. So when we put it in, we can see that half times five times four will give us 10. 5 4 is 20, and half of 20 is 10. I mean, we're sure we can work it out another way, definitely using the formula transposing and so forth, but time is of essence.